In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning, St. Paul. Well, some of you may know that during this past March break, I traveled to London, the UK, and I spent a week in the ancient city of London. And while I was there, there was one morning I was sitting in my dilapidated hotel room looking for things to do, and as I was looking through the newspaper, I saw that Justin Bieber was going to be performing at the O2 Center in London. Now, I hate to admit this, but for about 15 seconds, the thought went through my mind, hey, I should go see Justin Bieber. I've got nothing else to do. But then the thought of 500 students at St. Paul never speaking to me again if they found out, that pretty much quashed Brian Finnamore, B. Finney's idea of going to see Justin Bieber. But this morning, I'd like to speak about Justin Bieber, and I'd like to speak about how he witnessed to his faith. Shortly after his movie came out, Never Say Never, he was approached by Rolling Stone magazine, a real uh, political magazine that has been uh, known for its crucifying interviews in the past. Justin Bieber was interviewed, and he was asked a series of questions. The question strayed from his uh, specialty, which is singing and dancing. He was asked, as a young a teenager, he was asked what his position on North Korea was. Justin Bieber said that he didn't think the political situation in North Korea was very good, and that the dictator was very mean to his people. A pretty good response for uh, a teenager. Next, he was asked about Medicare and what health insurance was like in Canada compared to the United States. He said that he thought health care was better in Canada. He said it was free, which the adults, we all know it's not free, we pay taxes. But Justin was right. It is, for the average person, much better in Canada, I think, than in the United States. And he even mentioned a few people that he knew in the United States that had suffered terribly because of the lack of health care. Then, right out of the blue, the reporter in Rolling Stone said, what's your position on abortion? Justin Bieber responded, I'm against abortion. It's kind of like killing a person. Well, once again, Justin Bieber's answer was right, but not totally right. We know that abortion is killing a young life. It is killing a baby. The interviewer didn't stop there and went on to ask Justin Bieber, what would you say if it was a woman who was raped? And Justin Bieber very politely said, I don't know, I'm not a woman. I've never been in that situation. All in all, Justin Bieber did very well in the interview. He witnessed his faith. And you know what? It's not easy to do that. There will be opponents, there will be people who will not like Justin Bieber because he is a pro-life performer. Now, if you are a pro-life person and you would like to be part of the annual March for Life, the gigantic rally that takes place the first Thursday of, of May every year in Ottawa, there will be an opportunity later in the week for you to sign up, to travel to Ottawa on a coach bus, to march through the streets of Ottawa in a very nonviolent and peaceful way, and to gather at Parliament Hill in front of the Legislature of Canada and to pray for an end to abortion. Information will be coming, and you'll have an opportunity to put your faith Make it central in your life. Let us pray. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Paul, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Good morning, St. Paul. My name is Dylan Lubicic, and here are your morning announcements. 12 grade title students, an updated eligible to graduate list has been posted in guidance. All grade 12 students are asked to, che to check and ensure their name is on the list. Their names do not appear. Students are asked to see their guidance counselors as soon as possible. Also reminded to all grade 12 students who are eligible to graduate, submission of their gown order form and payment of the gradu graduation ceremony fee must happen as soon as possible. Final deadline is April 27th. Library will be closed today for inventory. It will reopen tomorrow. Any students who are interested in a medical co-op placement for next year, please see Mr. Phillips or Mr. Sacco in the co-op office as soon as possible. The applications for these positions are being processed now. And now time for sports. To all badminton players, the senior qualifying tournament at Glen Forest is on Wednesday, April 13th. You're expected to be at school on Wednesday at 6.30 a.m. The, the last senior mandatory practice will be tomorrow after school. The next mandatory practice for the juniors is on Thursday after school. Junior three-on-three -three meeting has been postponed until Wednesday at 11 a.m. The tournament will be played on Thursday and Friday of this week. Teachers, please excuse the members of the senior girls team for a brief meeting in the CAF after these announcements. The list for the track and field team is now posted outside the gym. There will be a mandatory meeting today after school in the gym. If you cannot attend, please see either Mr. Galley, Mr. Koskin, or Ms. Creed. That's it for your morning announcements, St. Paul. Song of the day is Casey's Song by Color and, uh, City and Color. Have a fantastic day.